Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Bus Hacks. Today I'll show you how to make a bouncy egg. So it's basically an egg that bounces. So today, you'll need um, some eggs, uh, some white vinegar. It's uh, If you don't have some white vinegar, just go to a store and buy it. It's around like $2. It's not very expensive. Um, a glass and another plate to uh, put the glass on. Or if you have Tupperware to uh, act as a lid, so it's okay. So what you want to do is you want to make two hard-boiled eggs. Uh, how do you know that they're hard boiled? Is there's this little trick. Um, if the egg spins really fast, it, uh, it means it's hard boiled. But if the egg spins slowly, see this one's not hard boiled, then it's not hard boiled because it doesn't spin. While well, the hard boiled egg spins fast. So what you want to do is you just want to take some vinegar. Uh, just a second. You want to take some vinegar. I have a new one, so I had to take the lid off and stuff. So you want to pour it into the. If you have Tupperware, it's better because it's like it's easier to clean, I guess. So just pour it in the glass, and then put the first egg, and then put the second egg. See, that's the reason I have a plate there, so that the so that the vinegar can spill. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to say that you have to keep the eggs there for about 48 hours, so that's two days. Um, also, I kept the white egg there for 12 hours, and the other one, the brown egg, for 48, just to see the difference. So, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome back, and after two days, we now have these two finished eggs. They were uh, in a vinegar glass. This white one was in the vinegar glass for one day, and um, this brown one was in a vinegar glass for two days. So let's see which one bounces. So one thing I want to say is that the white one shriveled up since uh, it was in dry air much longer than the other one because I just took the brown one out. So I guess that's the reason. And the brown one's all new, but the, the skin is peeling because I guess that's what the vinegar does. So remember to always remove the eggs with uh, tongs because uh, you, your hands will get really smelly because of the vinegar stench. Let me just zoom out. Um, so yeah, now let's test them in action and how good they actually are. There, it's just getting the camera into focus. So this white one, uh, it just fell off. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this. So, it's pretty bouncy, I mean, and you can actually bounce it as a, like a bouncy ball, or like, the reason why you want it hard boiled is that so there's no yolk in the middle for it to leak out, so it's all good. Let's test this brown one. First thing I want to say about the brown one is that it leaves a lot of residue on whatever surface you're gonna use, so it's not very good. So um, let's switch to side view so you can see the full height of these bouncing eggs. So guys, we're back and we're at more or less um, side view, so my hand is over here and this is the table. So let's start with the white egg. Like, I mean, it's pretty cool, it bounces and stuff. It's kind of like, it's not the same result as a bouncy ball, obviously, but, you know, it's something you can do. And this brown egg, let's see. Well, it's not as good as the white one, so I'd say for best results, you can soak it up into for, uh, for 24 hours and then leave it uh, for to dry for another 24 hours and uh it's pretty bouncy bounces off the table okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video it was kind of a letdown um i thought it'll be more bouncy but please subscribe share like and i'll see you in the next video